lads. Yeah, give us that microphone. It's pretty easy. Good back here. What the, what the bloody hell is this? Because we can't open the boot, we'll get onto that. <laughs> right then, where do we start with this one? <laughs> right, since this car, or since she made an appearance on the Instagram the other day, all hell has broken loose. Let's be honest about that. What do you address this car as? The most hated car on the internet. Can I get a yeah? I don't really believe it. A lot of people, it's like a Marmite thing. Like, since I put it on Instagram, a lot of people were saying that's the worst car I've ever seen. But then a lot of people were saying, like, that's fucking sick. And I actually think, I'm going to address this first. I'm going to address the wrap first, right? Because the wrap is the one thing which kind of makes the car. And the spoiler, but we'll get onto that. I actually love it. Like, I genuinely actually love the wrap. Like, obviously, you see cars in pictures and then you think, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you see it in person, it kind of just, like, takes over. Like, it gives you a whole new like feel of the car and, and I actually love it I think this is actually one of the coolest cars I've actually ever seen now that's weird coming for me because I absolutely hate German cars like I hate German cars it's not really why I hate German cars I just to me they just don't have much of a character so when you see something like this it kind of just takes that perception totally away now this is the sort of thing is like if you know you know if you know Xavier you'll know why some people don't like this car. I personally, I didn't really know much about the car. I didn't really know much about Xavier. So to me, I really don't care. I've got better things to do than worry about what the internet sees in someone. But how can I say this nicely? <laughs> she gets a lot of shit. She gets a lot of shit. And I don't know why. The car gets a lot of shit and I don't know why. But I just thought, what a better way than for me to give my reasons why it shouldn't get shit or why it shouldn't get shit. Now Xavier brought this car as, I think it was silver or a gray. So do you like this car, do you lads? Someone's got to. The locals are liking it. <laughs> right, show us the bags then, Xavier. If they're asking for it, show us the bags. <laughs> They've just said that, that this is better than my Evo, so. I think it's time to leave, lads. Now, I have a lot of respect for this because when I'm choosing a car wrap, it's like the hardest thing in the world. Like, literally, is the hardest thing in the world. I'll be there about four hours to choose in one colour. So, Xavier actually wanted to go half and half. She didn't really know about the colours, but she's one of those sort of girls where she likes the nude, she likes the browns, things that make her look rich, basically. So, she went down to the driving company and said, I want a half and half, she wanted half the camo, and they basically took the colours at her and said, choose the name, and that's what it come out with. I wish I had that sort of uh, consistency when I'm choosing a wrap because when I'm choosing a wrap, I end up spending days and weeks and years choosing colours and choosing design, it still ends up coming out shit, so. Right, I'm going on with this nude, I'm rich, pretty girl sort of theme. Just put everything bloody brown inside. Brown, what is it, the richest leather you can, is the, the most expensive leather you can buy, is that what it is? Yeah. The most the expensive leather you can buy, of course everything's brown inside. <laughs> Personally, this tickles my sort of metrosexual side is that what it is metrosexual it's like you know i like women but i also like skincare products whether i'll get my own name stitched into the, into the pillows maybe not but then again you know i do have my own name on my, on my own clothing so it's probably just as bad That's really isn't it yeah, probably, exactly. so not only do we have do we have our, our own name stitched into these little cushions we <laughs> Just in case you know you get anything, wait, that surely isn't a name. Just when you're driving, oh no, it definitely is a name. And these were cloth as well, were they? Yeah. But you've got that stitched. Right, the first sit inside. I actually feel like I'm a lot more important than I am. And how the hell do you drive like this? I'm literally lying down. That's going to be changed, that's dangerous. Right, so now we go on to the fun bit, which is nitpicking everything inside, which I don't like. Which is always difficult. Now this is a this is a thing that's difficult about this one in general, is because I'm trying to keep everything towards the Sirocco itself, not your Sirocco. So it's kind of a little bit difficult, especially when you've got seats like this and it looks like this. But we've addressed the wrap. I love it. Everyone hates it. One of them things, isn't it? And she didn't cheap out. Not only did she get the front ones re-trimmed, she got the back ones re-trimmed. And speaking about the back, it's very handy because you can easily get in there and you can easily get access to the boot. If you're a little bit intrigued why you want to get through to the boot through here. <sighs> right, well the thing is, we have a big spoiler on here. Right, is this real carbon fibre? Yeah. 
Awesome. Now I've got to be careful here, haven't I, Zave? I've got to be careful here. Wait, electronically? I'm lost here. What's going on? Am I talking about this or are you talking about this? Right, okay. There, there's a lot of things around this spoiler. Uh, what have we heard? It's been held on by wood screws. Uh, what else have we heard about this spoiler? It doesn't fit properly. It doesn't fit properly. It's unsafe. So, it's unsafe, is that what it said as well? Well, we can confirm it's not actually held on by wood screws, so that's that's a good start. Some nice little aluminium hex nuts, oh, lovely. Nice. These, them. Yeah, that's saying they're wood screws. Okay, well, we can actually be called, they're not wood screws, but there is a problem with the spoiler. I'll just hold it so you Yeah, you hold it. We get to a point where Go on, you're all right. we can't actually open it any 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 further. Right, stop. There. <laughs> so okay, so that's not actually that bad. I thought it was worse than that. You know, you can still reach in. If you if you're three foot four, you're absolutely perfect. Anything taller than that, you might have a little bit of an issue. Have you seen the chip that I took out of it? Uh I yes. It, is that is that where <laughs> is that the day you realise, oh maybe I can't actually open the bumper very yeah. much? Sitting inside, the first thing we can actually know is that there's actually nothing on the steering wheel, which isn't a big issue for me because I'm coming from you know cars aftermarket steering wheels and you know cars where they didn't have, they didn't need anything on the steering wheels. But in a car that there's this gym and this is and this is and that's this pretty, you would think you'd have some sort of volume controls on the steering wheel. And the most annoying thing I think VW definitely messed up with for a car that's so expensive and this is new. You don't think it's new, but for me this is new. 2009 is it? 10. 10, even newer, right. It doesn't even have cruise control, which I think is a very big no-no. I mean, a lot of people were actually kicking off at Mitsubishi in 2004 for not putting cruise control on the Evos. So a VW Skokoko in 2010 not putting in cruise control is, a, I think, is a little bit of a joke. A lot of people will be asking about power and all that things. We're going to talk about that in the drive. Now to be fair with VW, when I'm comparing this to a lot of the Audis that I've drove, this is a lot more simplistic inside, a lot more simplistic. With the Audis and the stuff, there was just way too much going on and it was really just not for me at all. Like, there was about 16 different driving modes, great car to drive, but just the driving modes, the amount of buttons are inside, it was DSG, so this is a good point because this is manual, I also have manual cars, obviously with the DSGs you can put in manual, but I just felt... You know, the, the, the more you let a computer do something, the more it takes away from the driving experience. So I'm good, it's got manual, and it's got six gears, which is nice. It's just a hell of a lot more simplistic in here. Like, this is actually a screen, don't worry about the lights. <laughs> <laughs> this is because aftermarket LEDs, is it? Or is it just because of connector? Uh, no, it's the indicator. Man. Well, for a German car, it's actually not that German, which is good in my books. Because normally I get in German cars and I'm just saying, oh, God, this is just way too much. It's actually quite simplistic. It looks like the radio should be touchscreen, but it's not. It is touchscreen. It is touchscreen? So it's a very laggy touchscreen. Yes. But the speakers are absolutely fucking insane in there, aren't they? So that makes up for it. Yeah. And we have got air rides, right? Now, for someone who doesn't have air ride, this is just so much fun. Oh yeah! <laughs> I did it wrong. Wait, you have to go one, two, three. Yeah! Hey! That's just so cool. I don't think you could ever, ever get bored of that. And how do, how do we air out? Do we that with that, that one all one. the way down? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. Woo! Now I had a like a what's it? Pers perception? I had a perception on bags that you could literally slam it all the way to the ground and put it like. 70 feet off the air but you're telling me that's not true like how what's the let, let's do a little bit of a comparison right so go ahead out and then go as high up as you can yeah right so right out there right go as high as you can is that as high as you can go on the front as well yeah. now the wheel gap is actually big but it's just because your bumper's so yeah, so low. So like, look at the back, it's like, monster truck. <laughs> but then like, looking at the front, like, that's still a low car, even like that, like, it's still low. So that's a bit of a shame. So for me, it's gonna be interesting, coming from like, someone who's always been on like, springs and coilovers, it's gonna be really interesting to see how, how bags actually ride. In general, Inside, I actually can't nitpick much, to be fair with you. Everything's just very simple, everything's just there what you need, and everything's just not over the top. So for a German car, 
inside it, it, it gets my it gets my approval i like the seats it's very pretty it's very nice to be in. it makes you feel important which is always nice but it's not over the top like the audis are i think we're going to swap to the gopro and we're going to take for a spin and we're going to go over all the mods i probably need your help because i don't think i remember everything's been done to it but it's not extensively modified is it it's just nice and tasteful yes right i'm good at filming so it's going to do a few different poses hold it and then we'll just think it later yeah yeah <laughs> this, is the weird, over there. this is the weird bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, I wish this were mine. Right then. So not, I know a lot of people are interested in mods and how it drives and stuff. And oh my god, I, the pedals are a little bit annoying. What, because you thought you were on that? This, this, yeah. They're so close to the left and close together. I've been pressing this fucking thing at the side. Yeah, they're not moving. So we've got a few tasty mods. Straight for exhaust. From the turbo back, Zave, or just the cat back? Full straight through, is it? Yeah. Right, okay. And then a map. So these are, what, 160 standard? 160 standard, right, okay. Which is all right for a 1.4. So we're running about just over 200 now, is it? Yes. Sorry, well, that should be indicating. Sorry, everybody. The most thing I'm intrigued about is how the bags feel. Like, obviously, you know, I've been in a lot of cars with 200 brake horsepower, so it's uh, bloody hell, the brakes. Oh, we're airing out. One thing I've noticed straight away is the rear view mirror is so, <sighs> what's the word? Dangerous, I think is the correct word. Oh, it's just that small. You actually can't actually see anything. And then the back seats, I've got that big, oh, I've got that big headrest in that all you can see in the rear view mirror is like just two headrests. Like that's actually it. Really worried about. Yeah, if you take it anywhere where you think it's slow, just let me know in advance. Let me know. <laughs> well, so are we on like. We're on drive height, so you're about. Drive height. Um, two inch off the ground at the front. I like the gearbox. The gearbox is really notchy. Not notchy, but it's, it almost feels like there's magnets in each gear pulling it in. This, this gearbox actually feels very similar to like the Fiesta STs. It's weird with the bags because I'm getting like, it's stiff. The ride's actually like stiff, not too stiff, but it's it's nice. But it, it, trying to find that feedback of like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, the looks you get in this thing is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. This is doing wonders, my ego. That's, that's right, love you just run across the road. That's all right. But as I was saying, like with the suspension, it's really hard to get feedback of where your balance is. One thing I'm gonna know, which I don't really understand, and I don't see the point of, is why they've got a, a timer of how long your engine's been on for, or is that a timer of how long you've been driving? Am I correct in thinking it's that? Because I'm pretty sure. Your engine, and it don't restart it. So if you've like gone home, yeah, and got back into your car like say 30 minutes later, right, it still carries on. It still adds on to that time. So when does that time reset? An hour and a half. After right. your engines are turned off. Why? Why? Why is that? What's the? You know, you know idea. This yeah. is the thing. Like that to me is just a little bit. Pointless. I don't normally drive with that timing on. You can change it. Right. Is it, is it here? Right. Okay. So you got MPG. That's your average. Twenty three average. Yeah. <laughs> That's your average. Yeah, you. Because I've been driving around roads. Right. Okay. What's it like on motorways? Around fifty three. On fifty three miles gallon from a two hundred. That's good. That's really good. When you're getting a little sim when you're getting like similar cars, like two hundred horsepower you probably won't see much average over 30. So getting 50 on, that's that's that's, that's really yeah, good. Yeah, when but I drove down here last week, it was 54 points, isn't it? 54 on the motorway, that's really good. When you let off the throttle, it kind of like perks up. It's like it's like an Aussie. It's like an Australian person. It just goes up at the end of a sentence. Doesn't it? Do you not think like it'll go, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, listen to it. <laughs> Why does it do that? <laughs> It's like it's it's a happy it's just a happy person, isn't it? Always just wants like oh, and then a high note, and the sense of a high note. Love a little Sirocco, She's angry as anything, but you know she's always happy. She always wants to spend the sense of on a high note. <laughs> See what you mean by it's not it's not as quick as it looks. When I'm in the passenger seat, it actually feels a lot quicker. Is it? Yeah. What brakes are we on? <laughs> the whole car just reminds me of like one of those people where it's like 
you know, she's good looking, she's good to be around, fun to be around, not annoying, not too much. She's just a nice person to be around, you should make you feel, you should make you feel good about yourself. You know, one of them sort of people. That's what I get the feeling about. A little bit like a you. Yeah, I was going to say you're talking about me. A like little that. bit like a you. <laughs> like, the car is literally just you. It looks like you. It's brown. It likes wearing brown. Yeah. It screams, hey, look at me, everybody. Got a lot of shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Gets a lot of attention. Yes. <laughs> looks aggressive. Oh, that'd be fun with these. Looks aggressive. Looks too much. Looks like it's in a bit of oh, fucking hell. Calm down. But really nice to be around. A little bit. What's the word I'm looking for? Just something that, you know, it's just nice when it doesn't look like it's gonna be. You know, fair enough, it's not the, it's not the, you know, it's not the most fun car I've ever, ever, ever driven. Fair enough. But, the sort of feeling it gives you, mm. I really like it. I think it's, I think it's really cool. Not a big fan of the steering, I'll tell you that. Just the whole suspension setup in general. I'm used to cars which are very stiff and mechanical where and sort of with like an old style steering rack whereas you're getting something new with like i'm guessing it's like a, this is an electric steering rack when you get something with an electric steering rack they're not the best feedback anyway you can't really tell where you where, where the wheels are when you've got something on bags as well now a lot of people uh, this annoys me this because there's a lot of arguments online like, oh bags are shit bags are shit bags are this bags are that but you can't drive fast on bags i've actually listened i've actually read a lot of journals and i've listened to a lot of people in motorsport and stuff who actually say bags aren't that bad bags are bags are actually good for handling and stuff <laughs> It's very different. Because right now when I'm putting it around a corner, I have no idea where the wheels are. No idea. It genuinely just doesn't feel like I'm driving it. My brutally honest summary. I, I, I love the wrap. I genuinely do love the wrap. I like it inside, which I didn't think I'd ever say about VWs. I love the way it looks. I, the way, aesthetically, I think it's amazing. Yeah, aesthetically. To drive. It scares me. It does scare me. It, I, I feel like I'm playing with somebody, not that way, but I feel like, do you know what I mean, do you know, right, do you know when you was younger, right, and you was into wrestling, right? No. I used to be into wrestling when I was younger, and I used to love it when like my cousins used to come around who were the same age as me, love it, you know, you can have fun, you can piss about with them, you can push it to its limits, you can, you know, you can rock and bat, nah, nah, nah. great, that's like my evil. This is like when your cousin comes round, six years younger than you, you know, he's got a mum that's like, be careful, be careful, be careful. And it's like, well, I really want to wrestle, but I can't because I've got to be too careful. You're sat here, you're shouting at me for everything I do. Every time I turn a corner, it's going because I keep hitting the fucking wheel arch. Every time we go over a speed bump, we've got to be looking at the PSI. What we on, what we on, we're going to make it. <laughs> you know, every time I go over a pothole, I can just, I, I don't even want to look at her, I'm just like, because I know she's giving me daggers. And it, it's the, the bags are just scaring me. I feel like they're going to pop any minute. Or if I go over something too much, they're going to pop. Or it's like, hang on, are we floating? Or is the steering rack's like, wait, are the wheels attached? It's scary. As a daily, I think it'd be awesome. As a show car, it is awesome, isn't it? Like, it gets all the looks. Everyone likes it. It's, it's, it's just too pretty for me. It's too pretty. It's too careful. We'll go. We'll take you out in the Evo. You have a go in the Evo, and you'll totally understand what I mean. Now, I'm stepping out the car because I'm going to get a little bit deep here. I'm going to get a little bit deep. Davy's car just and her. She gets so much shit on social media and stuff. Um, and and I don't. I genuinely. I genuinely. Genuinely don't know why. Obviously, you know, there's things about her crashing a caddy and all this and, blah, 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 and all that and all this. I actually don't know about them stories. Like, I'm the sort of person that make judgments on people uh, from my own experiences with them. And, you know, obviously, you know, Xavier's been in a lot of my Snapchat stories recently and things like that. And, and there has been a lot of hate towards, and it's absolutely horrible. It's absolutely disgusting. Some of the things that I said when none of you have met her, I think she's she's absolutely ace. And I don't blame you because I, I had the same idea when I first, when, when I was, you know, first talked to her about doing a review and stuff. It was just it was just like a business related post. It was just like a business related message and things like that. She's put the phone, he put that window down, you? Are you trying to listen to this? I, I was the same. I thought, you know, I thought she'd be this arrogant person that a lot of people say. And, you know, I thought she'd be this stuck up girl, as a lot of people say. But, you know, getting to know her, she's, 
she's actually one of the nicest girls I've ever met. So, you know, if people are watching this video and are gonna, are gonna talk shit about her, please don't, I don't appreciate it. I, I really don't. I don't like people talking nasty things about anybody, never mind somebody that's so untrue. But I'm gonna stop being miserable now. Thanks for watching, lads. I love you all. Bounce on the tunes. We'll see you next time.